Hi, my name is Chris Bryan with VeroWave. VeroWave helps leading manufacturers, service providers, and users to analyze, to measure, and improve the performance of their mobile networks. Our customers use VeroWave to verify quality, interoperability, compliance, and other pivotal aspects of mobile performance. So this is a VeroWave wave test system. It is a fully loaded WT90 chassis. It has nine interface cards. Up above it, we have four wave chambers, each chamber capable of isolating a single access point. These access points are cabled via Ethernet and wireless to the various interface cards we have here. Here we have the four port Ethernet blade each port capable of one gigabit per second throughput. We have two 802.11n capable wireless wave blades. Each is a three by three MIMO system capable of up to 365 megabits per second. And over here we have six 802.11 ABG blades. All of the wireless wave blades are capable of supporting 500 independent stateful clients. Okay, so I'm about to demonstrate Wave QoE. Here's the front page of the graphical interface. We have uh, um, a series of profiles to choose from, be it an enterprise profile, hospital, retail, university, or residential. For any of these profiles, you can change to your pleasure or you can go with the suggestions that we have already provided. Or you can start fresh and create your own pro profile as you see fit. So I'm going to use the enterprise profile. And you can see here the mixture of traffic suggested in the enterprise profile is a 10 megabits per second aggregate load. And all 15 of these flows will be combined together to make up that 10 megabits per second. You can see the percentage of each of these, the percentage of the overall 10 megabits per second is broken up via this column here, the percentage of traffic column. You can see that, for example, voice is taking up 7% of the overall traffic. FTP get and FTP put take up a total of about 10% of the aggregate traffic. You can always add more flows, flow types to this profile, or you can remove, remove any of these. And you can change the ratio. For example, if you want less HTTP GET traffic, you can change this as well. You can see that you can um, create several different types of clients. In this case, the enterprise profile has three different types of clients, handsets, laptops, and PDAs. Each client can have its own options in terms of whether or not they will behave like an 802.11b client, AG client, or an 11n client. And each client can simulate its location based on how it transmits its own power. It can be simulated as a uh, client that's near the access point or far away. Also, each client can implement any security type that you need. This traffic profile tab uh, allows you to create and add different types of traffic profiles from which to select when you creates your mixture uh, in the test tab. You can see that there are a lot of different traffic profiles for you to choose from. And for each of these traffic types, you can select one. Let's select the voice traffic, voice G711 traffic type. And you can see on the right what that traffic, traffic behavior is going to be. For example, you can see that it's bi-directional. It'll be 236 byte frames traveling at 50 packets per second. 
Over here, for every flow type, you have a box we call the Service Level Agreement, or SLA. This is essentially the pass-fail criteria, or also known as the quality of experience that the end user will have. So this is how, at the end of the test, VeraWave can analyze and report back to you whether or not the quality of experience on a flow-by-flow -flow basis was good or not good. In this case, for voice, we measure based on R value and MOS score. And the minimum suggested R value is 78. You can see MPEG video has a different type of SLA. It's rated in terms of an MDI score. A YouTube video is interesting. The SLA here we describe as how long does it take for the video to actually start playing after the user has clicked on it. Also, does that video run uninterrupted throughout the duration of the playtime? So now I'm about to run the test using the predefined mixture of traffic, 10 megabits per second on a consumer grade access point. So I'm actually running an enterprise class environment on a consumer grade access point. You can see we initially we, we connect to the chassis and all of our clients begin to get DHCP addresses. The clients do learning and then we set up the TCP connections. We ARP, we set up the SIP sessions and this test is configured for 10 seconds of traffic. So we wait for 10 seconds. Now we're done, we're tearing everything down and we're doing the analysis. And up should come the report, nicely generated PDF report. You can see here, this is a enterprise report. At the top, you'll see an overview with some text that describes the, the report that was generated and the test methodology. And then you see the results summary. The results summary is just that. It's a summary of the pass-fail for each of the different flow types. And you can see that green means pass, red means fail. And you can just scroll down in this report and get more and more detailed results with regard to what actually happened in this test. For example, for the VoIP flows, you can see there were six of them. And the average R value was 85.87. And there was zero loss on all the VoIP flows. The HTTP flows, which did not perform well, showed only a 3.9% loss. However, we were only able to offer a very small percentage of the HTTP traffic. I assume this is because the access point was struggling to service the voice and video flows. It was not able to service the HTTP flows. So we could continue to scroll down and get more and more detailed results, such as MOS scores on a per flow basis, and then eventually you get down to the actual test parameters as defined by the, um, during the configuration of the test, followed by a description or breakdown of how the actual mixture of traffic was generated, followed by a breakdown of each of the SLAs for each flow type. So that was the Wave QoE demonstration. I hope you could see how easy it is to bring uh, real-world environment into your lab. For more information about VeraWave or the products that we offer, you can contact us at www.verawave.com or at 503-473-8350. Thank you.